What's up everyone? Today we're going to go over elite code number 41. First, missing positive. The solution for this one comes from the elite code solution tab itself. And before I get into the code, I'm going to tell you the trick of understanding and remembering this problem. The answer that they want us to return is actually the index of the array, which has the first non-negative number after we are done processing it. So there's going to be a couple steps. First, we have to check if the number one exists in there in the array or not. If it doesn't, then we return one. Next, what we have to do is we have to filter out every number which is negative or a zero or greater than n, which is the length of the array. Once we're done with that, what we're going to do is make the values negative for every number that we see. For example, if we see a number three, or if we see number four, we have to make the value in, if, in that index. So for example, if I see four, then I have to make AR of four uh, negative. And we have to only make it negative once. Basically, making it negative is our way of saying, okay, we should forget that. And I'll write out the thing, it's the actual execution of the code itself. Uh, let's get into the code. So first, let's say they give us a if, let's say they give us an array, right? This is gonna be the integer. First num int ar. Okay. Uh, what we need to first do is take the length of it and ar n is equal to ar dot length, and then we have to write boolean. We have to first check if one exists. We're gonna first assume it doesn't exist. Okay. Then for int i through a r if i is equal to 1 1 exists is going to be set to true now if 1 doesn't exist then we return the number 1 because that's going to be the first missing integer from 1 to n now in our case, in this case, one exists, so we can't execute this. This one and this one, one is there as well. So it's not going to return one. But in this case, one is not there, so we have to return one. Now let's get into the rest of it. Now, next we're going to filter everything. For int i is equal to 0, i is less than n, i plus plus. Uh, if AR of I is less than or equal to zero or AR of I is greater than N, then we set that equal to one, which is our way of saying, okay, let's filter this. AR of I is set to one. Now that we're done with that for loop, what this is going to look like is this. Three, four, one, 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 five, one, one, two, one. That's going to be our array. Now, what we need to do is if we see 3, then AR of 3 has to become negative. But we only have to set it negative once. This is our way of saying we're done with using that number. We cannot return that key of that number. So for int i equals 0, i is less than AR dot length, i plus plus int v is equal to a r of i. If v is equal to n, then what we have to do is we have to set a r of 0 equal to negative 1 times math.absolute uh, a r of 0. The reason we're setting this equal a r of 0 is because we, there's no a r of n. It would go out of bounds. Else, a r of i, a r of v is going to set to negative 1 math dot absolute a r of v. Now, let me write that out in this case, what it's going to look like. Three is going to be, uh, because we came across three, 
we're going to set this one 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Because we saw 3, we have to set this one as negative. Because we saw 4, we have to set this one as negative. Because we saw 1, we have to set this one as negative. Because we saw 1, again, it's going to be negative. Because again, it's going to be negative. Because we saw 5, we have to set this as negative. We have to set this negative, set this as negative. We have to set this as negative because of this 2. And we have to set this negative again because of that one. Then the array is going to look just like this. Now, what we have to do is check the first missing positive after this guy. The reason we do this is because this 0 is going to correspond for n. Um, OK, for int i is equal to 1, i is less than n, i plus plus. If ar of i is greater than 0, return i. So in our case, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. The first non-negative number is going to be this. So the key is what we have to return. It's going to be the answer to this one is going to be 6. But in the case where we have to return more than, right? we have to return 3 or something larger, what we have to do is if, if uh, AR of i of 0 is greater than 0, then return n plus 1. OK, uh, that's pretty much how you saw Lake Code 41. If you liked the video, please subscribe and like it and share it. And let me know what other problems you'd like to see and how I can improve. Thank you.